everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I hope you enjoy watching me thin out my binders. I have three binders that I'm going to be doing a bill exchange on. They are the three binders that house all of my savings categories and they're all pretty thick. One of them almost doesn't close. So that is the before shot of what they look like. If you are brand new to this type of video and you don't know what I'm talking about, I will explain. In my savings envelopes, anytime an envelope reaches $500, I like to go ahead, take out the $500 and put that into the bank in a bank account labeled whatever that savings category is. And then I will take, this is my prop money, holder, I will take a $500 piece of fake money or a prop bill. These are kind of called all different things. They're called placeholders because it holds the place of the real money or it's called a prop bill. But then if I did $500 exactly, this would go into the binder to represent the $500 that is in the bank. And I said into the binder, but I meant into the correct envelope in the binder. So if you watch, you will see me do this. And a lot of times when I do this type of video, I do take money out of the bank. I take out some 50s and 100s. And that way we have larger bills because in these binders, obviously we have a bunch of smaller bills. However, I don't have to do that today because today I know that I have a bunch of envelopes that have more than $500 in them. So we're just gonna start, instead of going in order, we will start with those. And then once we put the, the fake money in, we will then have that money to work with over here. So if it doesn't make sense to you, just watch and then hopefully it will at the end. So we are going to start with this binder and let me look through it. I didn't plan this ahead. I guess I didn't think about it, but let me look in this binder and see. I'm going to skip ahead and to a category that I know has hundreds or fifties that we could use. So property tax definitely does. Now you'll see this one already has a prop bill in it, but it also has a bunch of hundreds. So let's go ahead and count how many hundred dollar bills I have and we'll see what we can do. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I counted that really carefully. So we have 11 plus the five in the bank. So what I can do is I can leave 100 in and with this $1,000, I can put it over here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go in this slot, make sure you can see that, okay. And then I'll go ahead and I'll take a $1,000 prop bill out of here. So I just kind of have this sitting to the side. So if you don't see it, I already showed you where it came from. So now we have 1,000 in the bank 500 and then 100. Okay, so, but what I need to do is, let's see, I need to do these separate. I need to make a notation on a piece of paper so that when I go deposit this to money to the bank, I know how much to deposit and into what account. So I did, oh, here's my pen. Okay, so I'm gonna write on a piece of paper, of course it's gonna have a sloth on it because I love sloths, but I'm gonna write prop tax. And then we put $1,000 in prop money in here. So that means there should be $1,000 sitting to the side. So in the end, we'll add this up and then add all the bills and make sure they match. So just follow along and we will have fun. So I'm gonna just kind of move that to the side. You might see it on the screen, but that's okay. So now we have some larger bills to work with. I was hoping we could get some 50s too. Oh, there's some, I see 50s right here. So why don't we, why don't we do this next? It may only be 150, but that's okay. Let me see. Yeah, that's only 150. I think I have a bunch of 50s in this one. Nope, I already, I already have prop money in it. Well, we have at least a couple. Okay, so let's do, um, this is my savings category for my BMW registration. So let's see how much is in here. So we have 51. 150. So let's go ahead and to condense this, I know we don't have another 500 to do a $1,000 prop bill. So let's just condense this as much as we can. So we'll trade these two fifties for a $100 bill. And then let's see, we have, um, 
what else can we do? So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 140. So the, I guess the only other thing we can do is take 100 out. So we'll take out 50, 70, 90, and then I'm going to put this aside as we count. So 50, 70, 90, and 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So we'll take a $100 bill and put it in here. And now let's see, we can't condense this anymore. So now we have 500 in the bank, 600, 740. And let's see what this tracker says. It does say 740. Okay, so we didn't make any mistakes. So I guess it's a good thing that my trackers are up to date. Okay, so now that we have some hundreds and fifties, I'm going to start from the beginning of this binder and now we can just go in order so we don't miss anything. So we'll go to the beginning. The beginning is sewer and water and it has nothing in it. Um, we already did property taxes. The next one says O. Murphy, and it is my, the money should be right there. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, why is there nothing in this? Why is there no money in this? There should be $4,200. Okay, so that was yesterday's video when we added $1,798 to get $4,200. Oh, I know why because it would have stretched out the envelope and broken it. It didn't fit. So we used the pouch from Ange, from Ange Budget and Debt. That's where the money went. Okay, so all the money's in here. Okay, phew, that almost gave me a heart attack. So we have a 1,000 and a 500 placeholder. You'll hear me say placeholder. You'll also hear me say prop bill. So let's let's see what else we can do. So... We already have lots of hundreds, I know that. So these are all gonna go to the bank probably. Let's see. Oh, let's let's go ahead and do these smaller bills first. Let's trade in these, and only the 50s. Let's trade in the 250s for another 100. And then let's see what we have here. We have 20, 40, oops, these are sticking, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, okay, and that makes sense since we had we ended with 4,200 for a balance. So to me, that does make sense that we would have an even number. So let's see what this equals. And let me go ahead and count it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So for this 10, I'm going to put a, put a prop bill. So let's actually, let's just keep going. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27. So I'm going to put two aside, okay? And I need 2,500 in prop money. And I'm not going to make any shortcuts because I don't want to confuse anybody, but we need, what did I say, 2,500. So let's see, there's 1,000. 2,000, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out a 500 if I have another one. Now that you guys see it, I'm going to condense the prop money and take these two 500s and put those back for a another 1,000 if I have another one. Let's see. I do. So now we have $4,200, which is insane to me. So I'm so thankful for that. So I only put it in the bank when it gets up to 500. So I'm going to leave these 200 in here with this, these prop bills. Now we don't have to use the pouch anymore because we don't have a very thick stack of bills. So I'm going to put the prop money in there and then I'll put the $200 in here. And then all of this will go to the side, but I need to remember how much it is to write it down. So this is for, oh, Murphy is my emergency fund. So I'm just gonna put EF for emergency fund. And in prop money, I already don't remember. I think we put in 2,500. Let me count this quickly and make sure it's 25 and I'll be right back.
324.25. Okay, it, it, it is 2,500. Those are sticking and I really wish I had my sort quick, but that's okay. So we will put this to the side and let's see what we can do next. So we did the emergency fund. Now my Subaru registration, that is very thick, which is a good thing. So let's see what we can get this down to. So let's see, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. So let's grab 300. One, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to put those ones and grab a 10. And then I don't remember how much this was. Did we already? Yeah, we are. Okay, we already got the money. I think it was, yeah, 310. We just didn't put this away yet. Okay, so I'll put this away last. It's funny, once the camera goes on, it's hard to remember things and your brain just goes fuzzy. I promise, trust me. Okay, let me make sure you can see the money well. So now we're gonna put $310 and only four bills back into this envelope. And we have 310 like we're supposed to. And now that has room to breathe. Okay. So the next one is my BMW registration. And I believe we already did this because we needed the 50s. So let me just make sure. Yes, because we couldn't condense the 220s because that was 40. And now we'll move along to travel. And in travel, this is the last one in this binder. Travel, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 134. So I will leave 20, 34, and then right here, um, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'll trade this in for a 100. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I don't even know if I do it the same way every time, but at least the end goal will be the same. So, but hopefully this is fun to watch. So we have 1, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 134, and that is what my tracker says. So it is nice when you're doing a video like this to have a tracker because then you know if you made a mistake. So that will finish it for the first binder. So let's go ahead to this. Oh, and you can see how thin that is, which is awesome. The next binder, we are going. It has quite a bit in it. We are going to condense. We'll start with this says post office. Now, I purposely just yesterday in yesterday's video put a bunch of twenties in here because I have thirty or yeah, I have thirty gifts giveaway winner gifts that I need to mail at the post office. And then I have packages for friends and then I have two gifts for my cousins for their weddings, which they're big gifts. So I purposely wanted smaller donations because if I get a couple sent out each day, I'm, I don't want to give the post office person a 50 or hundred dollar bill. So I just purposely have a bunch of small increments in this one. So this is the only one we are not going to condense and put in larger bills because I purposely put in smaller bills for this one. But as far as I know, we're doing every other one. Okay, so this is for Diego, and this is from Lupin, that $2 bill. So we're going to save that. It's very special to me. And then we have 19, so we can't condense that. So we're just going to leave this how it is. So, but I just wanted to check, and I know it says Busy Lizzie's budget. I need to make or have someone make me a Diego envelope. I was actually, I've been trying to get a sticker of his picture from the person I normally do, but I have not heard back from them and I need to get in touch with them again. So this next one is for my investing. And you all know that my investing money is in my Lisa, my, my Lisa Frank, my Lisa Grateful Me rainbow binder. But I've also been adding money into this, which I'm going to have to take out and put into that binder. But anyway, I had started it. I had started it this way. So we've been putting we've been doing a tracker from um, 
Quaint Prince Boutique, and I didn't want to stop the tracker, so that's why we were just going ahead and still putting money in this. So we already have a $50 prop bill, so then we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. So let's trade in, well, we'll trade in the this for 100, and then we'll see if there's anything else we can do. So one, 150, 175. So we have, so that's as small as we can get. That bill looks like it's two, it feels like it's two. So we have 675 in the bank. And again, at some point I need to take this, this 500 out of the bank and get smaller bills and put that in my Lisa Grateful Me binder. Since the binder, once all the challenges are done, that adds up to the amount that will max out my Roth IRA for the year. So if we move on, there's this ch another challenge from Lisa that's super cute that I'm doing for Matt as a gift to Matt. So let's see if we can condense this. So 100s are as high as we can get. So we'll leave that. So then we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'm gonna grab a $100 bill. And then we have, oh, actually we have plenty of room. We can do that. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So I'll put that 50 there. And then I just need to put this money away and we'll just double check that I didn't mess anything up. But hopefully you guys are following the way I'm doing this. I don't really know until I watch it back. And sometimes if I'm too busy, Matt will, my husband Matt will edit and I don't even watch it back. So um, let's see. So on this tracker, it says we have 350 and we do have 350. So that is perfect. I don't usually switch out bills, but I think that's the only really old bill I have. So we'll just switch that one out. So these all look the same. Okay. So now we have family fun and it just has a 10, a measly $10 bill in it. So we'll leave that just like that. And then for gifts, this one, I also wanted a $100 bill. I wanted four fifties and then twenties. So actually this one, we're not going to touch either. And then we have wedding gifts, which has nothing in it deductible. We can definitely condense this one. I joke and say that's for when Max gets into his first car accident or crashes my car for the first time. That's my joke. So, I mean, I know it's not funny, but okay. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 175, 85, 90, 5, 200. So we can put two $100 bills in there then that will have plenty of room so it won't break on me and yeah we're doing pretty good so those two $100 bills will go in there I think that is the last envelope nope there's one more oh and it's Matt because we were saving money for him okay so let's go ahead and condense this one as well we have 25 26 7 8 9 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 40 41 so we'll do two 20s for the 40 and that sh we should be all set so 41 and 41 excellent Okay, so now that binder's finished and that is also very thin. We have one last binder to do and this is the one that barely closes. So let's see what we can do in here. We also have letter box that we're gonna um, take care of in this video as well. I haven't been able to do a separate video. I haven't had time. So we're gonna do that in this video right here. I made a decision what I wanna do. So when we get to the envelopes, I will show you. So the first one is girls trip and I don't think it needs to be condensed. We can change the two fifties for a 100, but that's about it. So we have 200 in there. Oh my goodness. This is a star note. Good thing. I'm not sending these to Erica anymore. <laughs> I'd feel guilty. <laughs> okay. So oh, that's really cool. So then we have dental and it just has 15 in it. It has a 10 and a five. Nails has nothing. I'm not paying right now to get my nails done. And they're about half grown out. Some of them are a little less than half. Some of them are a little more than half. But I just can't wait till they grow out and they're real nails again. So for hair, we have $60. And I do leave this in smaller increments for tip, tipping purposes and things like that. But um, so we'll leave it just like that. Actually, you know what? 
yeah, we're going to leave it like that. And then I know we have some other ones in here we can condense. Um, Max's hair, I'm not saving for his hair anymore. Addie, okay. So this is money I've been setting aside each week for her, for her future. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we'll do 50, 60, 70, 80. And I'll put these aside. Okay, and now this is this one's all set. This is from Katie Reynolds. I love her envelopes. They're so pretty. And then for Max, we've been putting 15, just a month away for him in this. So let's see how much he has. He has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. So he has 120. Okay, put that away. And now this is where we've been saving letter books. So this is what we're gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna show you what I got. I bought these, I don't know, a couple months ago and I was gonna start putting letter books in them, but I haven't yet. And so here's what I decided. I decided we're not gonna start using these new pouches until next year. So to the left of me, I have piles of all the letter books I've been saving. They're counted up, even though I haven't been showing them or putting them in our monthly sinking, sinking fund videos, I have been saving them. So I just, before this video, I sorted them all out, counted them, counted them all out. I really want to see though, how many we can save of each letter in an entire year. So I'm gonna wait to use these till next year, but let me show them to you. I bought these on Etsy, these pouches. I haven't opened them and I'm keeping them wrapped up until we use them. But they had four different colors and I, Addie and I tried to coordinate um, the color letter book on here. These are, I'll try to remember to, it looks like it's Phenomenon Creations. I'll try to link the Etsy shop in the description box. These are very nice quality and came very, very quickly. So L bucks for me. I'm sorry, L bucks we saved for Max. And these are fuzzy, they're so cute. Oh, and there were a bunch of freebies and things in here too, so many freebies. So E bucks for me for Etsy and I chose the pink and the mint green. And then we have A bucks for Addy. And we have, wait for it, G bucks for Matt. So I figured we could save the bucks for an entire year and they should fit in here fine for a year. And then at the end of the year, we can count them out. So this is what I'm gonna be doing starting um, at the beginning of next year and we won't count them. I may show them to you and put them in on camera, but we're not gonna count them till the end of next year. So for the interim, until the end of next year, I'm still saving them, but let's go ahead and condense what we have and then we can put the cash in here. And then when I do my monthly balance, we can add those in because right now they're not accounted for. So I hope that made sense. So class of 2027 is my daughter, Addie. We've already had to condense a little bit because obviously we can't fit that much. So we have a 50, but we have a bucks here and we don't have a, a tap. We don't have a tracker for this. I hadn't been putting them on a tracker. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna condense this as much as we can to fit it in here. And I'm gonna show you the pile. This is the pile I've been saving for the last two or three months since we did these on camera. So I've counted this twice. This is definitely $62, so I'm not gonna recount it. So we're just gonna count from there up. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go 62. And then we'll go 60, and these are really sticky, so I have to be careful. I'm going to have to go really slow. So 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So we have 80. So let me get out the calculator. 80 plus 51. So we have $131 in a bucks. So we are gonna put, I'm gonna put this aside to go to the bank. I'm just gonna, we're not gonna be able to, you know, fit it, but we'll just put it there. And then I'm gonna put the 50 back in the pile and we will get 120, 31. 
So it just goes to show you by saving letter bucks, you don't, I don't, I know I don't miss a dollar here or there, but it really adds up. So I, I had saved quite a bit of them since I've shown you guys. So that was cool. So now we'll go to, this is from my son, Max, class of 2025. And we're going to do the same thing with his. And so let's go ahead and grab the L books. Here is the pile. And we, I have saved 52 L bucks for him. So we'll take the sticky note off. This is 52. And then we'll go 53, 54, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 77 plus 55. 132. Is that what my daughter had? Is it? I swear it was similar. Okay. So let me put these back. And then when I, now when I go deposit these to the bank, I'm definitely not going to do a withdrawal because then I'll get all of one of these letters back. So anyway, uh, we're off to go to a different teller. So 132, 1, 20, 30, 1, 32. And now I'm really curious what, I'm really curious what hers was. I have to check you guys. I'm so curious. It was 131. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. I knew it was close. Wow. So that's good. That means I find a lot of those two letters, which I knew I did. That's why I chose those two letters for them. And they just happened to work with their names as well. Okay. So now we are going to do e-bucks for me for my Etsy spending, which I, I've i just been spending on Etsy, not using eBucks, but we'll get there. Okay, so in the stack of eBucks I've saved, we have 33, so then 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. And then I'll put those ones here. Now it's going to, it covers my stack, but that's okay. So 38. So that's the smallest we can get that. And then in De on, around December 15th, when I count these, then for all these letter butt categories, the number will go way up since it's stayed the same the last few months. Okay. So I'm going to I'm not going to finish this binder yet. I'm going to pause because we have two more things. We have to actually go back to the previous binder. and But I didn't want to tell you about the letter bucks until we got to that part. So for Matt, we're going to put his letter bucks in here because they're for him. So I'm going to take out the money. I believe it was, what, $41? And we've been saving G-Bucks for him. So sorry, Tracy. But I did find a very, all, very nice, almost brand new G-Buck. And I did save it for Tracy. So... Anyway, we have 24 in here. So 24, 25, 45, 65. So we'll do 50, 60, and 5 to have that in the smallest donations. Yeah, denominations possible or the smallest number of bills. I'm going to have to start a second stack for my ones. You guys can't see it, but I'll show, I'll show it to you at the end. So Matt is up to 65. Someone asked me what he was going to spend his money on. And so I think they were referring to this envelope. The answer is, I don't know. I have no idea. Matt doesn't like to spend money at all. And then we have one more and it's D-Bucks for Diego. So we're going to just put those in. So I don't know what to do about Diego because those special bags I bought, I bought all four colors. I used all the embroidery colors. And so we'll have to do something different for him or just keep Diego's money in his, in this, the one envelope I have, which where is it? I know it says busy Lizzie's budget. Okay. So maybe it's in a different, maybe it's in this one. Yes. So once Diego gets his envelope, it'll go in here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you. I had, I was able to save, I think I got a few of these in the mail, I think, but I was able to save 20 D bucks since we got him and I knew we were going to save D bucks, D bucks for him. So we're going to put the money from Ren aside because we're not going to touch that. And so we have 20 here that I saved 
And then we have 21, 2, 3, 24. Um, then plus 5 is 29, and then 39. So we'll just go 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Although maybe they should be D bucks in there. Yeah, let's do four D bucks. Okay. So I just put that off to the side. So we'll have 39 plus the two from Lupin for Diego. So I'm going to put these ones back. And then we'll, now we're all good with the letter books that I had to add. So. We'll go back to where we left off on my third binder and we'll go ahead and we'll finish this out. So the next category is school stuff. So let's, you can see how, how fat that is. Okay, couldn't have fit anything else in there. So in school stuff, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. So we have $200 in school stuff. So I'm going to do two $100 bills. I might need change, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, normally, I can always make, the thing is, I have so many binders, I can always make change. But usually if they need money, it's a lot because it's for a fancy field trip or something like that. So I'm just in a lot of times they need a check. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in these two $100 bills. And then I think we have one more. Yes. Yeah, student driver. We've been saving for Addy for driver's ed. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80. So we'll do 50, 70, 80. And I'll put this money back. That is going to be the la the very last, um, that's gonna be the last one. So now everything is condensed. And if I show you those three binders again, they are much thinner. And the money that we have to the side, so here is, let's see, there's all that. And then here are the ones. So you can see we had quite a bit of ones. Now, the only prop money we put in was in, it was in these two categories. So because we put those prop bills in and the money's going to the bank, to go to the bank, we should have um, 3,500 if you add up these two numbers. However, I think this is going to be more than three, more than that, because we put in, we added in all those $1 bills. So I think I threw them to the side, but I think we need to add these in. Again, I didn't really do this math off, off camera before the video. We had one more. We had Diego. Oh, here we go. So I think we have to add in these amounts. So, and if I'm wrong, we'll find out in just a minute, but let me just go ahead and we'll do 33 plus 52 plus 24 plus 62 plus 20. So I think that's 191 if I did that right. So that would be um, four, no, not 4,000, I'm sorry, $3,691. So we'll see if there's any chance that this comes out to that. I'd be surprised if it was, but I'm trying to in my head think if that's the right thing, how we need to do it, because we didn't put in prop bills, we put in real money, or do we need to subtract 191? I don't know. So I'm just going to, th those are just my um, my ramblings. I, I don't like to do cuts and stop the video and figure things out. I like to do it on the fly, and if you see me make a mistake and I did it wrong, then you'll see that I did it wrong and that I'm human. So I'm going to go ahead and... For counting these, though, let me grab a different a different um, thing of paper. I want to write down how much we get for each category because I am afraid that we'll uh, <laughs> that we'll forget or something, or the calculator won't work correctly. So I'm gonna do 150s, 20s, 10s, 
fives, and ones. And I'll put the amount and I'll probably speed a lot of this up because I don't think any of you want to watch me count all of these ones and stuff like that. So I will start now and I will see you back at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We have seventeen. For fifties, we have fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty. Oh, okay, four four hundred and fifty. I was I started doing it a different way. So this means we have 1,700. So 20s, we have 20, 40, oops. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40. So 540. All right, and then in tens, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty, nine. So three ninety in tens. And then for fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 135. And ones is going to take me forever. I'm really, really, really wishing I had my blinged out sort quick from Erica, but I know I can't find it quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and start counting all of these ones. I'll move the money aside and I'll probably count in sections of 25 and just leave them out. So let's see. So this is going to take me a hot minute. So we have one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have two eighty-five in ones, and I really hope I counted those correctly. So now we're gonna see if this comes out, and I did this right. So I'm really nervous. Let me make sure you can see the paper, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the calculator. So we have. Want to make sure you can also see the calculator. That way, if I do things wrong, you guys can help me. So we have 1,700 plus 450 plus 540 plus 390 plus 135, and then lastly, 285. Okay, moment of truth. Did we do this right? Okay, so it came out to 3,500 exactly. So that means that the letter bucks didn't matter. And I'm wondering why though. So the letter bucks didn't matter. Um, maybe because I added in real money and just switched bills. And I added in money from the side that wasn't accounted for. So the fact that we got 3,500 with no sort quick on the first try, I am so happy you guys, this is awesome. So let me go ahead and I'm basically just gonna put the money together and get a screenshot here and I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you don't normally watch this channel and you came here for the bill exchange, I would love it if you would check out some of my other videos. I try to do um, a good variety of content and for all different income ranges. And I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So I would love it if you would subscribe and check out some of my videos. And um, 
that's basically all I have to say. I'm just gonna, you guys, this is crazy. I can't even hold it. It's so much. This is insane. This is $3,500. And so I need to take this to the bank. So I'm gonna just put this out here for you guys and tell you that I hope that you have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Thank you.